What's up guys, we are back once again. We're gonna be doing another series review. We're gonna be doing uh, Dragon Ball Super. So again, efficiently, this went on for one season. It first premiered in 2015. So any Dragon Ball fan, I would say anyone that really enjoyed Dragon Ball probably did enjoy Dragon Ball Super. Now again, there is a lot of controversy between the manga, to the anime, to what's better, to what arc is better, to what characters was good, what characters was bad. But overall, first off, let me know what your thoughts were about it down in the comments. Me personally, I like Dragon Ball Super. But is it perfect? No, it is not. There are a lot of issues in Dragon Ball Super from what we got from the beginning to the end of the Tournament of Power. And then, of course, it continued in the manga and then Dragon Ball Super Broly, Super Super Hero and all that stuff. So overall, I'm going to tell you guys what arcs I did enjoy at the time, what I still kind of enjoy. I do enjoy the Resurrection F arc to a certain degree. I do enjoy the uh, Battle of Gods where we got into Sabiris. I did enjoy, you know, Ultra Instinct when it first got uh, announced pre-Ultra Instinct. Same thing with Super Saiyan Blue, Super Saiyan God. I like all that stuff. I think that that was better than GT. Now again, I do like GT to a certain degree. I will go into a review on that as well. Now I think <clears throat> the whole Gods and God's Destruction and the Angels was absolutely amazing. I really enjoyed, you know, seeing Varus, Champa, Bados, and Whis and all of them. I really did enjoy that. Now I will say there was some arc, like I think the Universe 6 and 7 arc was kind of silly. Uh, I mean, we got introduced to badass characters, so I will say that. Same thing with um, the copy of Vegeta was kind of stupid. Uh, the Goku Black arc went back and forth for me, personally. I, I enjoyed it, but then again, it's kind of eh. I like Goku Black as a character. I like Zamasu as a character, but at the same time, it just there was a lot of controversy within both characters to where it made you go, okay, why not go on? Why, why would you not pick Gohan to be that character? Wouldn't it mess with Trunks' psyche more? Why does it have to be Goku? Um, same thing, you know, with Rosé. I like Rosé, Goku, Black. I do. It just, again, there's a lot of controversy behind it because it makes you wonder, why would they go that route? I, I don't know. I mean, and then same thing with Torrent of Power. I love the Torrent of Power. I mean, we got introduced to Jiren, for crying out loud. We got introduced to Jiren. We got introduced to, you know, Ultra, you know, Super Saiyan, Vegeta, uh, Blue, and then we got, you know, to Ultra, Ultra Instinct Goku, and then... You know, more, you know, Norm Nemeki, you know, more Nemex from Universe 6, more um, Saiyans from, uh, you know, Universe 6. Just all these different characters, and then all these other gods that were very interesting. But we didn't get to know a lot about the gods. We didn't get to see the gods battle like they did in the manga, or, you know, they didn't do that in the anime. It was like a quick, you know, pre run, you know, of how crazy they would go. And then the same thing with Zeno. Me personally, I don't like Zeno. Zeno is very annoying. I just, I'm not a Zeno fan. I like, um, again, I like Beerus. I like uh, Whis. I like Vados. I like Champa. I like the other gods. I want to know more about them. I like the other, you know, Saiyans. I want to learn more about Keon Khalifa. I want to know more about Kaba. I want to know more about that planet. I want to know more about, you know, the Namekians from Universe 6. I want to know more about these other universes. I want to know more about Universe 11. I want to know more about the Pride Troopers. And again, they didn't show a lot of that. It was very short and you know kind of bittersweet and i don't like when series do that again watching this especially during some times when i went through some hard times in my life really did help me continue rather than just giving up so i do give dragon ball super that again the animation at the time was good and bad i think the best animation we ever had was during the tournament of power which um <clears throat> we all know that and again they get a lot of crap. Let's be honest. Dragon Ball Super gets a lot of crap for the animation style, for some of the stories, for some of the characters' growth. You know, why is Goten and Trunks still the same age? Um, why, you know, why they changed so much from the manga to the anime? Again, there's a lot that was not shown in the anime that was shown in the manga, vice versa. Same thing where people say, oh, I prefer the manga over the anime. I personally don't care. I love Dragon Ball in general, and I just want a good story. I just want good character growth. I just want good character progression. I just want good... Good expansion in the Dragon Ball universe. That's all I want. That's all I want is good good character progression. Because, again, Goku's still the same. Vegeta, he did a lot more growth after having Bola, you know, um, him wanting to stay with Bulma's side rather than training. Goku still wanted to train, you know, to get hired, you know, to go up against Beerus and Whis. And same thing with against Zeno. And the Goku Black Art was very dark, I will say that. Um, the Tournament of Power, again, was absolutely amazing. You know, seeing Hit, seeing Jiren, seeing Topo, seeing Khalifa, Kale, and then Kale going, you know, in, you know, Berserk, Ultra, you know, Berserk, Super Saiyan. And same thing with Kaba, and same thing with all these other characters that we got to see. Again, I'm not saying they're all bad characters, but at the same time, we 
some were interesting, some were not. I'm just going to say that. And other times it really made you wonder, you know, where exactly are they taking the Dragon Ball franchise? Where are they taking Dragon Ball Super? And again, I can't say this enough. Again, you guys are going to keep hearing me say there's a lot of controversy behind the back, behind the scenes uh, with fans, with the writing, with everything like that. Everyone says, oh, Toriyama just needs to stay rather than giving it to Toro Again, it, it's going to happen one way or another where Toriyama's not going to be able to do this forever. Again, he's not going to be able to do this forever. There are things he's going to sign off on. There's things he's not going to sign off on. There's things that, it, you know, that we may say, oh, hey, Toriyama was crap on this or, you know, Toritaro was crap on this. Again, at the end of the day, guys, we, we're going to get what we get. And not all the times is it going to be pure gold. It's not. It's not going to be pure gold every time. Um, but, again, if you guys are a Dragon Ball fan, you've never watched Dragon Ball Super, give it a chance. Just, just give it a chance. If it's not for you, then it's not for you. If it's something that you just don't feel like, hey, you want to do, then just don't watch it. I mean, that's all I got to say is don't watch it. That's how simple it is. If you don't want to watch something, then don't watch it. I mean, I, I can't tell you how many times I've walked away from a series or walked away from a movie just because I don't like it. And I get crap for it. Like, well, why, 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 why didn't you finish it? Why didn't you do this? Why didn't you do it? Because I'm not going to support something I don't like. That is the thing. I'm not going to support a franchise. I am not going to support a movie that I don't like. I'm not going to. Whether it be the story, whether it be the writing, whether it be the characters, or the people behind it, or the actors. It just all depends. On my view, everybody has their view. And again, there's people out there that will probably say, hey, uh, Dragon Ball Super sucks. There's people who probably say Dragon Ball Super is okay. There's people that say, oh, it's amazing or it's perfect or whatever. Again, everybody has their own opinion. I like Dragon Ball Super. I'm looking forward to more when it comes back on to see the animation form, to see, you know, Goku go up against Gas and Goku go up against, um, you know, Moro and all of them. I'm looking forward to it. I can't wait to see what else we're going to be seeing further in the Dragon Ball uh, universe. But again, we're just going to have to wait and see what's going to happen. But overall, what are your thoughts about it? Please let me know down in the comments. What do you guys think about Dragon Ball Super as a whole? Do you guys enjoy it? Is it okay? Is it bad? Is it decent? What are your overall thoughts? Let me know down in the comments. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll be seeing you as always on the next one.